got Dark Maverick, Aether Vile, Vile Maverick, uh, versus Bug Delver, played by Chris Cornejo. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start it off. Chris is going to choose the hand that has either the Death Touch or the Lifelink Worm token in it. So, just to repeat, uh, Worm Coil Engine makes a Lifelink and a Death Toucher for all you uh, Worm Coil Engine fans here. And I'm going to put the Lifelinker in what... Uh, I'm going to put a card in my right hand, put it face down, cover it up, and Chris is going to guess whether it's a Death Toucher or the Lifelinker. And go ahead. Uh, Death Touch. It's a Lifelink. I will be on the play. Classic Corneo. <laughs> Alright, I, I shall descend into the Cone of Silence in just a moment here. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so I got my opening seven, and uh, it seems strong. Uh, could use some more disruption, but I mean, this is a very reasonable hand, and I would never mull this against anything. Yeah, it seems both good versus like creature decks and combo decks. Alright, so I'll lead us off. Uh, and uh, just, I, I like to pretend like I'm elves or something, so I'm just going to go ahead and fetch. Uh, I guess Savannah is still the best card for me, so I'm just going to lead with that and. Pass the turn. Alright. I don't know if I've ever seen an Elves player start with Savannah. Yeah, it's I guess It's been a not. while, at least. But I think uh, getting a Bayou was not very profitable. Alright, well, I'm going to draw right here. So are you thinking about putting down Teague, or...? I think I like the Teague here. Uh, it's ba and make Force into Force. The other option is to play this, but I think he likely has one removal spell, so... Uh, let's uh, put out a land just to prevent him from dazing. I'm going to eat that. And then play another one and pass turn. So I often find that these days I uh, I just tap with my lands before using the Death Rite's ability. Yeah, I think that was probably right. Um, I, I think probably would have made more sense just to tap the lands first. Um, yeah. I mean, you get the occasional misplay from your opponent where they just like daze your, and you have death right up. Yeah. Uh, plus, sometimes you gotta beat for one. It's possible. Actually, I think what happened was sometimes bugged over one stifle, and I was thinking of playing the Teague before I played the land just to maybe get a stifle if he wanted to do it just for death right activation. Mm. But then I changed my mind to play around daze, so I, I already committed to this line. Yeah. Right. I'm not happy. I'm not unhappy getting wasted here just because I have uh, such a strong position here. And let's see. Oh. Ooh, this is a good one. Yeah. Do you just play Jid here and win and the game? And he came and forced me. Um, oh, hashtag win the game. And um, considering main phasing and activation, just to play around um, trade recruits, but I can't see how I could possibly cast anything off of this, so pass the turn. Yeah, you'd have to go like probe, probe, fetch land. Yeah, and I could respond and to it. Yeah. So, uh, guys, create a leech to some inconsistent draws, but here was just the nuts. Yeah, that was pretty sick. So here he can get out of it if he goes like a breath decay. Yeah, and I think he'd have to take the GTO or for something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do we have life totals? Yeah, he's at seventeen and you're at nineteen. Okay, he's keeping track. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll put him up on the screen when we do this. I know he's still uh, on his wasteland nice. plan. Uh, true wasteland. Yeah. So he goes down to fifteen. Yeah. We gotta feel like if he keeps wastelanding you and you're ahead, then yeah. you're winning. I, I think it's gonna be very hard for him to get out of this. He probably doesn't have a decay from what I can tell. Yeah. I'll draw for turn. Uh, it's a bit late, but I certainly do not mind extra copy of this. Um, this question is do I want to send a second one in? I could only act. Yeah, I think Keeman's Graveyard is always worth upside compared to this damage. Yep. So trigger. Ah yes, the powerful turn four vial with one card in hand. So good. I could not have asked for a much better start. It'll be really sick if he just untapped and played Death Shadow as like a nine nine. Well, I mean, Death Shadow's <laughs> pretty soft to this card. That's true. It's not even good. Hmm. 
two Death Shadows very soft to this card as well, just because of the life game. Yeah, yeah. And I'm uh, using this aggressively yeah. just to um, be able to take him off of. Um, take him off of Treasure Cruise. Uh, I find that I often fetch for buy over Scrubland, but this deck seems to be more reliant on white than it is on black, so on, uh, on green, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that Scrubland here. Okay. And uh, one thing I have to get used to after not playing Ether Bottle decks for so long is just making sure to remember my upkeep triggers, so here we go. Uh, draw for turn, and he's at. 11. So let's say I got 6 damage on board right here. Right. Draw. That was an excellent draw. That was pretty uh, good. Tarmogoyf's the only thing I would even be semi worried about. So that's incentive to take him off from green. That seems right, yeah. And it seems like he hasn't yep. seen Combat. green in a while. Um, and he's not going to be treasure cruising, especially with Teague on board, so I'm just going to shove two guys at him. Uh, seven. Seven? Yeah. And I'm going to counter on that and pass. I could not have hoped for a better start, so. Yeah. All right. Gag team, getting it done. <laughs>